together sometimes we'll do it. the sound of a black-eyed, 14-legged, groundling-eating, hairy spider monster. But I don't think so. <gasps> nah, it couldn't be. A black-eyed, 14-legged, groundling-eating, hairy spider monster would sound more like... <laughs> that! <laughs> You're so silly, Mossy Bear. Me scared? <laughs> Never. Maggie, why are you still dragging that bear around with you? Well, I don't know. Why not? Well, I haven't carried a mossy bear since my ponytail was that long. <laughs> well, goody for you. Well, yeah, it is goody for me. Ever since I gave up my mossy bear, I always have both hands free. It's not just that, Maggie. Now that I've given up my bear, I belong to a special kind of club. You do? What kind of club? Uh, I can't tell. Please tell me, Galileo. Pretty please? With sticky sap on top? Well, most kids don't know this, but there's a secret club all us grown-ups belong to. There is? Wow. What kind of stuff do you get to do in the secret club? Well, you'll find out just as soon as you give up your mossy bear. Oh, I guess I never will. <sighs> Sorry, Maggie. It's rule number one. No telling grown-up secrets when there are mossy bears in the neighborhood. Well, what's rule number two? 
Uh, you'll find out when you pass rule number one. Oh. Well, maybe you could give me a hint so I'd know if it's worth giving up my bear. Oh, it is. Believe me. So you gonna do it? We'll think about it. Oh. <laughs> well, where are we going, anyway? Uh, to see Mudslinger. He's working on a new invention. Oh. Can you see that? What? Well, that that flying squash. Uh, <laughs> I guess there's no such thing as a flying squash. Oh, yes, there is. Uh, maybe you should shake the cobwebs out of your head. Oh. Yeah, or get your eyeballs checked. Things have been flying through the marsh all morning. Things like monsters? With orange eyes and five legs and a belly full of groundling stew? <laughs> <laughs> Look at me like that. I'm not crazy, I tell you. Sure, Hagdish. Oh. I could have sworn I saw a shapely summer squash come flying through this window. Uh. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> See, Hegdish? There's no such thing as flying squash, just squished squash. <laughs> oh, I think I should go lie down. <laughs> oh. 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 Okay, ready? Ready, ready. Yeah. yeah, now we won't ever have to carry anything. No, we can fling everything. Uh, not everything, or I'll be naked. Oh, this oh. newfangled flingy thingy is way just one flick of a gnat's tail. What? I'm having a flash of brilliance. Oh, you are, Slinger, you are. I can see the wheels turning in your head. Oh, yeah. you can? Oh. oh, it's just an expression. Oh, well, here's an expression of my cleverness and wit. We can call our flingy thingy the Slinger Flinger. Don't you just love it? Hmm? Well, I'd love it more if it was the Mud Flinger. Nah, too long. Huh? But mine is shorter than yours. My point exactly. Hey, how about the Stax Flinger since you're flinging all of my stuff? Uh, uh, hey, where's that thing we're gonna oh, fling? It flung! Oh. Is this what you're looking for? Ah, yes, it is. What is that thing over there? Hmm? Huh? Ah, the Slinger Flinger, our latest invention. Yeah. Well, what have you been flinging besides shoes? Oh, I don't know. Stuff. What kind of stuff? My stuff. They've been flinging my stuff all day. If they keep it up, I'll be down to my bare wires in no time. I've got an idea. Here, fling this. Oh, I for one could never fling such a cute little mossy bear into the swamp. No, absolutely no. Well, go ahead, take him. Fling him to the moon. Oh, already then. Maggie, are you sure about this? Yes. Oh, no. Oh, I don't know. But it's the only way I'll find out about rule number two. Huh? Rule number two? Uh, uh, yeah, you know, Slinger, uh, the rules of uh, growing up. Oh, yeah, like when you're big enough to play on the roof of the workshop. Yeah, and spit sunflower seeds. Neato! Well, uh, don't tell her all the good stuff. Oh, well, that sounds like fun. It is. Hey, Mossy Bear, this is it. It's time we both moved on to better things. Some things are worth giving up your mossy bear for. Well, go ahead. I can't believe it. <gasps> Wait! Okay, go ahead. <laughs> ah! Oh, now what? A flying bear? I think I should go lie down again for a long, long while. I guess I'm a grown-up now. But 
I threw no. my bear no. away. No. You have to Maggie, tell me all I... the rules Maggie. of growing up and what about the secret club. Maggie, I can't tell you right now. It's a, uh, it's still daytime. Yeah, that's it. The big test to prove you're grown up is to go without your bear all night. Well, I guess I'll have to, because Mossy Bear's gone now. We'll talk more in the morning, after I see how you survived the night. Survive the night? Without Mossy Bear? Oh, no. I never thought about that before. <sighs> Kathy, we have flying fish and flying squirrels, but there's no such thing as a flying bear. Basket. Well, hello, Maggie. How are you today? Worse than a flower whose petals have all fallen off. Oh, my. It seems to be one of those days, Kathy. Here is also sad. Why? Well, she wants to fly like her older brothers who have turned into butterflies, but she isn't ready yet, are you? It's just like Galileo wanting me to grow up. But I don't think I was ready for the flying through the air. There, you see, Kathy, Galileo wants Maggie to fly too. Hm. No, that can't be. No, he wanted my bear to fly. All this talk about flying bears, the only one who might be flying around these parts is Kathy. But not until she's a butterfly, right? I wish I could fly. I could go up on Mudslinger's roof and spit, and I would still have my mossy bear. Roof? Spit? Maggie, where is mossy bear? Hmm? Galileo made me get rid of it in order to grow up. And uh, tell me, why are you in such a hurry to grow up? So I can join the secret club. What secret club? What do you mean, what secret club? You're probably the head of it. I'm afraid I'm not following you, Maggie. The secret club for grown-ups. Mm -hmm. Galileo made me give up my bear so I could join. But, but, hmm? What is it, Kathy? Hmm? Can you join the club, too? <laughs> well, maybe I should help things along here by telling you and Maggie a story. Tristan was an ugly little troll who wouldn't need to grow up and scare people. One day, when his dad was setting off to sit under his bridge, Tristan insisted he be allowed to go. I don't want to be a little troll, he screeched. I'm big now and ugly and scary. And he made a face that was indeed very scary. Someday you will be a big troll, his dad said, and you'll have the fun of scaring everyone. But until then, enjoy being little. Pull the tails of your little friends for a while. But Tristan snorted and snarled, so his father said, Take my place under the bridge. Tristan couldn't believe his luck. He raced to the bridge and waited to scare someone. He waited, but no one crossed the bridge. All day long he sat there. The water was cold and his back hurt from crouching so long. Poor oh, Tristan, where was the fun in this? Then his dad appeared. Dad, I'm going to let you have your bridge bag, Tristan said. I know how much you like it. Thanks for caring about me, said his dad. You really are starting to think like a big troll. With that, they rubbed horns. Walk. There you go. Ha <laughs> I guess I gave up my bear too soon. Well, Maybe. Do you know something? I'm going to let you two in on a little secret. Why I like to hang around you so much. Oh, why? I love the fact that you're young. You two see everything as a new adventure. And watching you makes me feel young. And you like that? Oh, I love that, Maggie. Hmm? Oh, well then. Good night. Good night, Kathy. Off with you. <laughs> I 
It's night. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Excuse me. Well, I'm off, Maggie. Good night. Oh, good night. Mm. Oh, Mossy Bear. I need you. Hmm? I went to what? say goodnight to Maggie, huh? and she's not there, and now I can't find her anywhere. Well, um, did you check the hollow tree in Mossy Meadow? I, I looked in all her favorite hiding spots. Well, little groundlings don't just evaporate. <laughs> there must be some logical explanation. Like she was eaten by giant grass gremlins. Well, uh, the probability of that event exceeds even my ability to calculate. Well, Stax, you've got to help me. Well, um, oh, oh, oh. Perhaps Maggie wandered out of the area in pursuit of that grassy rendition of an omnivore. You know, her mossy bear. Of course, mossy bear. She must have gone into the forest mm -hmm. after it. If I can find it, mm -hmm. I can find her. Good. <laughs> but how will I find mossy bear? Oh, well, I can postulate the approximate landing area based on the trajectory of the fling from the sling <laughs> and the direction and speed of the wind. You see here, um, mm, okay, okay, um, try 18 meters northeast of the rocky outcropping rocky at the outcropping. edge of creepy clearing. Creepy clearing? Mm -hmm. At night? Mm -hmm. I don't even like going there during the daytime. Oh, you'll be fine, Galileo. Nobody sees better in the dark than you do. Well, I know, but it's still scary in the forest at yeah. night. Oh, poor Maggie. Mm. be so scared wherever he is. Mossy, where are you? I'm not a scared. I'm not a scared. Yep. 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 Huh? Huh? Oh, that sounds like a growling grizzly bear. Oh, not a friendly little mossy bear. Oh, This is all my fault. I should never have made fun of her, Bear. Oh. I better get going or I'll never find Maggie. Don't be scared, Mossy Bear. But if you listen really hard, you'll find that's just the sound of a baby raccoon. Oh, we've heard that before. <laughs> And that's the owl again. Well, it's really not very scary. Well, you wouldn't be frightened of a bird calling out in the middle of the day, would you? It's just that you're not used to it. It's really very beautiful. Well, let's listen. All this creepy clearing for nothing. Now, where is this rocky outcropping? Uh, aha! This must be it. <laughs> now, Stack said 18 meters from here. One, two, three, <gasps> six. What's that? Ah! Oh, Galileo, what are you doing here? Well, I'm looking for you, and boy, did you 
you scare me? Well, here, hold on to Mossy Bear. Oh, thanks. Ah. Don't mind if I do. Oh. So how come you're looking for me? So you can take my bear away from me again? Well, no, Maggie. I was really worried about you. Because I'm just a little kid who can't stay out at night in the forest alone. Well, that's just it. You're out here in the creepiest part of the forest all alone, and why aren't you scared? Well, there's nothing to be scared of. <gasps> oh, I think there is. You do? Mm -hmm. But you're a grown-up. Well, I don't know if I am. I just said that. Now, I have to tell you something. I've been thinking it over. I don't really want to be a grown-up yet. You know what? I don't either. You don't? No. Kids have much more fun. Oh, that's for sure. Thank goodness we're still kids. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Once an hour would last forever. Me and my friends, we'd get together. Who can say the games we played or where the magic hid? All day long we did the things we did. <laughs> so much fun being a kid. So much fun being a kid. Then one day we dreamed we were older. Games felt dumb and our hearts grew cold. We could hardly wait to tell our make believe goodbye. Leave our foolish baby ways behind. Not much fun. have way better secret clubs than grown-ups. I already knew that. Hmm. Know what else I know? What? There's no such things as monsters of the night. Well, Maggie, that's a pretty grown-up thing to say. <laughs> well, maybe you're more grown-up than you think you are. I know, but don't tell anybody. <laughs> hey, <gasps> hello. Hey, maybe that's Kathy. Who? Kathy, this really grown-up caterpillar I know. Huh. Way to go, Kathy. Ha, ha, ha.